Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video, and I want to talk about weird weapons, and if weird weapons should come to Elder Scrolls games. Um, you know, I'm playing Oblivion, and what I noticed about Oblivion is some of the cooler weapons are katanas and cutlasses, but they're not very good. You know, the Akaveri katanas, they're not as good as a Diedrich, for instance, longsword. The steel cutlasses, or I believe they're called cutlasses, sabers, you know, they're not very good weapons. I mean, they're good low-tier weapons, but, you know, they're not really good. And there's no spears, there's no crossbows, there's no, like, one-of-a-kind type of weapons. And I want to ask you guys, should there be more weirder types of weapons in Oblivion? Like, for instance, a bow staff, you know, would you, would you guys like if there was a character that gave you, like, one bow staff, and it was, like, hand-to-hand -hand skill, where the bow staff you could find maybe not like glass steel Diedrich bow staff but like you had this bow staff and it scaled up like hand to hand or a crossbow you know you had a crossbow and there is like a crossbow quest line to get different versions of the crossbow you know would you like weirder weapons like that because I remember way 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 back um, when Skyrim added, I want to say it was crossbows to the game, that was a big deal. For some reason it was a big deal. Thinking back on it now, it's like, woohoo, you added crossbows into a medieval game. You're so smart, Bethesda. You know, but, you know, weird weapons like that, would you guys like weird weapons in Elder Scrolls? I know I would. I like, um, especially some of the Diedrich weapons in um, Skyrim and some of the weirder weapons, you know. There's the, I believe there's a sword you can get that looks like a pirate sword. And it has a chance of, I believe it's disarming someone. It has a chance of disarming someone. And so the only type of pirate sword I've seen you can get. And it's very unique. You know, Dagon's Razor, it's a dagger, but it has a chance to instantly one-shot someone. It's a pretty unique weapon. Wabajack's a unique weapon, you know? And Sanguine Rose. Those are both, and Skull of Corruption, and Metamarco's Staff. Those are all weird, weird, weird staffs that are one of a kind. But I think adds so much to this game because you like look at them and you're like, well, this weapon on its own is pretty weird. But if you think about it, Mana Marco Staff can be really useful if you need to conjure something, right? Let's say you need a summon to tank and you don't have any magic and you don't have any scrolls. It's like, oh, here's this other way of solving your problem. Or maybe you just killed a really powerful enemy that you want to fight for you. Boom, there you go, you know? Or Sanguine Rose, just the chaos that ensues. Do you need the Sanguine Rose? You know, is it an ability that you could find use for? And I like, I like weird weapons. You know, I wish Oblivion had like, I wish Oblivion and Skyrim and Morrowind has a throwing weapons, but I wish you could do more like throwing spears, throwing stars. You know, I just want as many weapons as you can. And granted, there's something to say about too many types of weapons. You don't want to go through a cave where, you know, you just leveled up and you just had, let's say you up from iron and steel weapons to silver, you don't want to sit there and find, okay, silver bow, nope, silver throwing star, nope, silver dagger, nope, silver bow, nope, silver mace, okay, finally I found a silver weapon I can actually use. You know, I, so I think that is definitely something to consider, um, or even in Skyrim with the dual wielding and enchanting, I mean, I, I definitely think in Skyrim that sometimes I am overwhelmed by the amount of gear that I find in Skyrim, but as a person who's played Skyrim a lot, I, I really appreciate that overwhelming amount of gear I get because in the long tail, it feels like Skyrim has way more dynamic ways of solving problems than a game like Oblivion, you know? So, I mean, that's really all I have to say for this. Do you guys want weird weapons, odd weapons, those weapons that are just random to come to, you know, Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, you know, Elder Scrolls games? You know, would you play Oblivion if, you know, you could use a bow staff and the bow staff scaled like hand to hand, you know? I think, I think, you know, nunchucks, being the Ninja Turtle, I would, I would totally be totally okay with being a Ninja Turtle in, um, in uh, Skyrim. I would totally love to be a Ninja Turtle, you know? But, on the other hand, there's already a lot of different gear combinations you can come up with in these games. So let me know about in the comments below, guys. Start a discussion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.